This time we take a small example. f of x is sine inverse x minus 3 by 2 minus log of 4 minus x by 4 minus x okay to the base 10 so we have to again find the domain of this so we can take this one as f1 x this is f2 x so the fx consists of f1 x plus f2 x hence the domain of f of x will be domain of f1 x intersection with domain of f2 x ok so now we see that sin inverse we have a function sin inverse y ok so this is the domain of this is what minus 1 is greater than equal to y is less than equal to 1 because this is that is what the sign of any number can be so that is the domain so it gives us that okay x minus 3 by 2 should be greater than equal to minus 1 should be less than equal to 1 so x minus 3 should be less than equal to 2 minus 2 so just multiplying by a positive number so x should be less than equal to 5 and x should be greater than equal to 1 okay so this we get the domain of f1x so now let's see for this f2x which is log of 4 minus x to the base 10 so we know that okay then 4 minus x should be greater than 0 x minus 4 should be less than 0 or x is less than 4 so this is one condition and another one is 1 to 5 okay so now we have to take the intersection of these two sets which is 1 to 4 okay so if we see so this is 1 to 4 next let's look at one more question and an interesting one so we have root under x minus 2 by x plus 2 plus root under 1 1 minus x by 1 plus x ok so if we take this example so this is f of x so again this is g 1 x plus g 2 x ok so we now try to find first the domain of each of them so for g1x the domain of g1x so for that x minus 2 by x plus 2 should be greater than equal to 0 and x plus 2 should not be 0 so if we multiply this by x plus 2 so it becomes x plus 2 whole square of positive so we can ignore this in the inequality so it becomes minus 2 2 so it should be greater than 0 so if we take this side the sign is 3 plus 2 5 and 3 so this is positive negative and positive so we want greater than equal to 0 so it is and x should not be equal to minus 2 so our domain is minus infinity to minus 2 minus 2 not included union so union what so it will be 2 2 plus infinity ok now let's see for the next one what should it be so what should it be for the next one so it is g2x so domain of g2x is 1 minus x by 1 plus x so 1 minus x by 1 plus x should be greater than equal to 0 so 1 minus x 1 plus x should be greater than equal to 0 again multiplying by this and square on the denominator we can ignore it so this becomes 
x minus 1 into x plus 1 is less than equal to 0. So minus 1, 1, we take zeros, it is minus 1 and 1. So this is negative, this is positive, this is positive, okay. So what it becomes? So our part is here and x is not equal to minus 1. So it is something like this part. Next we get the part from here, so minus infinity to minus 2. So minus 2 is here, 2 is somewhere here, minus infinity to minus 2 and 2 to plus infinity. So we see that th these two domains are never intersecting. So the domain of G1x intersection domain of G2x is a null set. So it's not defined anywhere, not de defined anywhere. So this is about finding the domain of various problems. Okay. So as a last example, so we will look into another problem f of x is cos inverse 2 by 2 plus sin of x okay so where is it defined in 0 to 2 pi we have to tell this okay so where is it defined in 0 to 2 pi so let's see so any cos inverse of y is defined for y the domain is minus 1 is less than equal to y is less than equal to 1 for this values of y only this cos inverse y is defined okay so now replacing y by 2 by 2 plus sine of x should be less than equal to 1 should be greater than equal to minus 1 so let's see this expression so this expression so 2 by 2 plus sin x we know that sin x the range is from minus 1 to 1 okay so this way even if it is the lowest value so minus 1 so it will be 2 by 1 so it's a positive number okay so we see that okay this expression is always positive so this inequality on the left is always true so now we have to solve just 2 by 2 plus sine of x should be less than equal to 1 now if sin x we see here that if it is negative then this denominator will become less than 2 so what should happen so 2 plus sin of x should be what so 2 is less than 2 plus sin x or sin of x is greater than equal to 0 so now in 0 to 2 pi, so this will be true for 0 to pi, we have sin x is what greater than equal to 0. Okay, so this is the part where in 0 to 2 pi where this is the domain is defined. Okay, the domain is there. So this was about domain. Okay, so now I hope you get to understand how to solve problems about domain so thanks a lot